Hi, I'm Michaela, and welcome to this introduction to KDB Insights, our product that brings KDB Plus to the cloud. In this video, I'll start by introducing what KDB Insights is, and then I'll show you how you can sign up for a free instance of our cloud version and walk through a simple product tour. So what is KDB Insights? So first thing to note, it's built on top of our core KDB Plus product, and we have two flavors of it. We've got KDB Insights and KDB Insights Enterprise. So who is KDB Insights for? Well, anyone that wants to work easily with KDB Plus in the cloud, perhaps suited to experienced KDB Plus users who want to migrate their existing KDB Plus stack to the cloud, or indeed for new users who want to have a lot of freedom and flexibility when building their KDB applications in the cloud. And by clicking on here, we can see a full suite of microservices that are included and they can be used independently or they can be used together. So a user can pick and choose what they need. Along with this comes full support for things like Docker and Kubernetes, which makes building your applications in the cloud a lot easier. The second flavor is KDB Insights Enterprise, which is built on top of KDB Insights. So everything you see here, you also get in KDB Insights Enterprise. And if we go to the top here, we can jump to that documentation. And we can see this is more of an end-to-end -end solution for users. Now, if you want to follow along with this product tour, you can sign up here by clicking this link. And this will bring you to a page that looks like this, where you can enter your details and receive a welcome email with a link to your own cloud instance. And you can sign in there using the same credentials that you've registered with on this form. Once signed in, you'll see an overview page on the console here. And let's just jump back to the docs for a moment now that we have signed up and got our free trial instance. This means we're able to follow along with this tutorial to discover the KDB Insights Enterprise product. Now this free trial instance comes preloaded with the New York Taxi dataset that's used in this tutorial. And that's indicated here by this pipeline that has finished. Now this dataset is about 3 million rows and we're going to show how quick and easy it is to query your data and do instant visualization with it. For full instructions and to do more in-depth querying, you can follow this page and this is also where you can get the code that I'm going to use in this tutorial if you're following along. Now jumping back to the product, let's query our data. Now we can do this by selecting the plus up the top here and query, or we can just click the big query button here and that opens our query window. A few things to note here, we can use the top section here to extract data from our database and we have the option of using SQL, Q or some easy filters here with the query tab. Now let's demonstrate by adding an SQL query. So for example, asking how many records are there in our table? We will say that to an output called T and then we can run get data. Now you can see the result of this query in our bottom window which is given the number of rows, around 3 million. And we can also use the middle scratchpad window to do additional data discovery and analysis on this variable we've saved T. So we can run any free form Q, for example, if we wanted to do count of the table or the result, we would say it's one element long, which makes sense. We also have the option of running the same thing, but in Python. So if you're a Python user, you might prefer to run length of t instead. Now let's try a different query, say getting number of trips per day rather than just the total number. So I'm going to change my input query here and I'll just change this to tpd as my output variable. And you can see I'm given a table here with the number of daily trips. Now if we switch the output to visual and rerun, and we change the type from bubble to bar, for example, we can see that we get a bar chart showing a daily count of trips, which is very interesting. And notably here, we can see it drops down to very minimal numbers. And this happens to be the 25th of December, AKA Christmas. So that makes sense. There's probably less people traveling by taxi on Christmas day. So that's one way we can use KDB Insights Enterprise to drill down into large data sets really quickly and get meaningful results back. Now you might have noticed we also have a left hand menu here. This is where you might do things like managing your database, loading in new data, and you do that using pipelines, and viewing diagnostics if you run into any issues. And to find out how to do those things and explore even more with KDB Insights Enterprise, 
You can see our documentation underneath the product here. We have a full guided walkthrough, which will take you step by step through how to build a database from scratch, add data to it, query it, create more detailed visualizations. And then we also have our industry tutorials here. And they'll allow you to use KDB Insights Enterprise and to tackle a real life use case, um, including doing things like building out real time dashboards, running machine learning models for prediction in both financial and manufacturing settings. OK, that's it for this introductory video. Hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Thank you.